In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a QR Coupons tab. A QR coupon is closely related to a barcode and scanner. This feature utilizes your mobile device's camera and allows you to collect coupon scans right through the app. With the QR Coupons tab, you can provide easily accessible coupons to your app users. First, you need to log in with the username and password that you were provided. After you have logged in, click on Add New Tab. Give this tab a title, and then from the Tab Function dropdown, select QR Coupons tab. Select an icon and then click on Save Changes. This tab you just created has been added to the bottom of your list. You can reorder this tab by clicking on the crosshairs and dragging to your desired location. For this example, we'll place this in the second position. Next, click on Content. Find the tab we just created and click on it. And then click on Add New QR Coupon. First, you'll need to select a mobile and tablet header image, and then input a coupon name. And then you'll need to fill out a short term or series of letters or numbers. Your app users will not see this anywhere within the app. It's just a unique string that enables your QR code. Please make sure your code does not have any spaces or special characters. Select a start date and end date for your coupon. Leave these fields blank if the coupon is redeemable indefinitely. Check the Can Be Used Again box to allow users to redeem this deal more than once. When this box is checked, the coupon will reset to zero scans after users complete the scans and redeem their deal. Select the correct time zone and then set the check-in target amount. This is the amount of times an app user must scan the QR code to unlock the deal. If you set this to zero, the deal will immediately be available to all app users. So we will set this to five. And then set the hours before next check-in. This is the hours an app user must wait after scanning the QR code before they can scan again. This prevents users from abusing the feature by scanning multiple times at once. Make sure the Is This Coupon Active box is checked to enable your coupon. If this box is unchecked, this coupon will not appear in the app. Then enter a coupon description to explain the deal. When you are finished, click on Save Changes. You may close these boxes, and then your new QR coupon has been added. Set a background image for this tab. You can choose from a set of preloaded images by selecting your industry, or you can use your own images. After your image has been uploaded, simply check in the center, and then click on Save My Choice. You will also need to do this for iPhone 5 and 6. We can now see how this looks in our app previewer. Because the app previewer is preloaded with the mobile website, click on mobile app at the top and then click on the play button in the center. And now we see a live version of your app. Find the tab we just created and click on it. And there is the QR coupon. The app user will be able to tap on this to redeem. They'll simply need to tap on the scan QR button to scan the code. To edit this coupon, click on the edit button or you may delete the coupon by clicking the Delete button. When you're ready to save and print your QR code, you can do so right through the tab. Click View QR. First, be sure to load your app on your smartphone and test the scan function to verify that the code is working before you print and post it. After you have verified that the code is working, click the Download button. The QR code will download in a PNG format. You can print the image out or distribute it however you like. Thanks for watching.